something wrong, Dimitri? You seem like you want to say something. Oh, sorry. You look so much like someone I know. It is a shock every time I look your way. It seems like you're fast and efficient at any job. If you minded my store, I bet I'd make a killing. Especially since I don't need to be paid. Even that mercantile spirit is identical to her. When this fighting's all over, I wonder if I could get your bracelet for myself. I think that is for the Divine Dragon to decide. But... why do you want it? Then you could mine the shop counter again! Also, it'd be a great nest egg for a rainy day. A nest egg for a rainy day? Wait! You would never consider selling it, would you? I've heard you're royalty too, Dimitri. But you're not at all like Prince Alfred. That's not surprising. The culture of Fargus emphasizes simplicity and austerity. My sense of direction is terrible. I spend more time finding my fishing spot than I do fishing. Next time, let me know when you're going. I'll accompany you. What's the matter, Boucheron? Your eyes look kind of swollen. Oh, sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to worry you. I'm here to listen if there's something troubling you. But no pressure, of course. No, it's... The book I was reading is really good. So good, I get teary just thinking about it. I brought you some folk food made of fish eyes, but... I'm sorry. You can't actually eat, can you? No need to apologize. Watching you enjoy a meal is gratifying in itself. Please, dig in. What's your favorite food? I'm so curious about the delicacies of other worlds. Let's see... I remember really liking a dish of baked spiced cheese. It looks like today's tea time snack is baked sweets infused with black tea? Yes. They're also filled with mountain sheep's cheese, which gives them their unique smell. I've noticed that you've begun describing your dishes in much more detail. <laughs> well, I thought that if you could really imagine it, you would be able to enjoy it more. You always look so happy, Clan. What's your secret? I just love being the Divine Dragon Steward. And today, I get to talk with you too. Thank you for all your help on the battlefield. We're much better for it. My pleasure. You can count on me. Lord Dimitri, do you mind spending so much time with me? I don't get on your nerves, do I? Not at all. Being around you is like being back with my classmates. And that cheers me greatly. What were your classmates like? Do you think they'd have been friends with me too? I think you'd be very popular. So much so that you might find it a little overwhelming. They say a throne is solitary, but a nation cannot rest on one individual. Do you agree? I do. That's why you need friends and allies you can trust. And wise people to guide you. I know it's a trite question, but... How do you think a king should act, Dimitri? I believe what matters most is for monarchs to lead their people to a brighter future. Ballroom dancing is common in my homeland. It's not my strong suit, but it can't be avoided. You seem like you'd fit right in at one of our galas, Dimitri. Are you a dancer at all? Enough of one to keep up appearances, at least. Social gatherings don't suit me very well. There was a ball at the officer's academy, but I slipped away to get some time to myself. As the Crown Princess of Illusia, I must thank you formally for your aid in this war. No need to stand on ceremony, although I know how you feel. I struggle to relax as well. I've noticed you staring at the Divine Dragon from afar. Is there some message I could relay? How sensitive and considerate of you to think so much about my private business. I understand your feelings now, Princess Ivy. I apologize for being less than helpful. My academy friends have always been better with this sort of thing than me. I never asked for your assistance, but... Thank you for the apology. 
and your understanding. I will collect my thoughts and express them to the Divine Dragon as best I can on my own. Dimitri, from this day forward, I believe our bond will grow ever stronger. Your enthusiasm is refreshing, Kagetsu. It's nice to hear my name spoken so informally as well. I have a friend named Dudu. He is unfailingly loyal, but always keeps an emotional distance. That is sad to hear. Perhaps you should go out with each other more to strengthen your bond. My position and my past make it difficult for me to befriend anyone, even those I fully trust. Bonds of friendship are easier to forge than you think. If you wish for them, then you have them. Perhaps you're right. I do have a tendency to overthink things. As your good friend, I will lend my ear to your thoughts whenever you wish. I am here for you. Between you and me, Dimitri, do you water down your milk before you drink it? I can't say that I do. But if that is how you enjoy it, you should feel free to do so. Dimitri, have you got a moment? This patch spot here, does it stand out? No, not at all. It is very well done. I only wish I could be that dexterous. You praised my needlework, but as royalty, you must find sewing to be a foreign concept. Not so. I had a classmate who taught me, though I was still very much a novice. I did break some needles and scissors. I found it difficult to moderate my strength when sewing. That's so true. Needles and scissors are quite brittle. No one's ever understood that before. Sir Dimitri, would you honor me by joining me for training? Please, hold nothing back. Of course. Let us become stronger together. The wolves would not balk to die for their pack. I too would lay down my life for my princess. You need to stop thinking of dying as a virtue, Marin. I mean it. I must apologize for earlier. It was careless to say something that implied death was a virtue. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I got emotional that day. As a knight, I wish to continue to live and serve, just as my beloved critters also strive to live. I see. I am relieved to hear it. I happened to be present at your service earlier, and it was... Uh, how do I put this? Loud. Glad you could make it. Feel free to drop by whenever, and howl along with us. Ow, ow, ow! The Officer's Academy was established inside a monastery. It attracted all sorts of seekers. So you could go and pray between classes? Sounds like my kind of school. You know, at first you seemed pretty strict. I thought you'd judge me for being, well, me. I wouldn't judge you. I know you're a hard and earnest worker. Your methods may be unorthodox, but you're still helping people. I think it's wonderful. I appreciate that. You should tell me more about your world so I can pray for it too. The Blue Lion card. This one rarely appears. Emblem Dimitri. We should get along nicely. Oh, fortune telling? What else do the cards have to say? Your dancing is inspiring. I feel courage welling up from deep within when I watch. I hope it appears to come naturally to me, even if it requires a constant commitment to practice. When the Officers' Academy held their ball, I was unfortunately compelled to take part. My professor's dance lessons for the event were as intense as any lance training I've ever had. That is not surprising. To a dancer, the stage is synonymous with a battlefield. Still, to give such proper guidance, I may ask Emblem Byleth to teach me sometime. I've parted ways with the other me, but what do I do if I start having bad feelings again? That's just another side of you. I don't think you need to ignore or deny that aspect of yourself. I'm having a hard time deciding which weapon truly suits me. How did you choose? 
Well, the hero's relic passed down in my family was a lance. I suppose it was decided for me. <laughs>